Hey YouTube, so I want to start this off. I am not a professional fixer-upper. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I don't do this stuff. Uh, the audio quality is going to be bad. You're going to hear my daughter in the background. The video is not going to be anything near professional, but I figured uh, I was having a problem. I found a solution to the problem. Uh, nowhere else on YouTube, at least not in my quick search that I did, was this solution available. And uh, so yeah, let's let's get going. I needed to clean out the water line in my fridge. What had happened is uh, we bought a, a filter for the fridge. It must have been used or re returned. My guess is a return, and uh, it still had water in it when it was returned, which grew mold and mildew. And so when we put it in, it. Uh, it made our water taste all nasty and changed out the filter. Whatever it was spread to the rest of the water line in the fridge and our water just constantly tastes like crap. So looked up how to clean out the, the fridge line and they said use cleaning vinegar. That's all well and good. That's kind of what we we're planning on doing to begin with. But getting it through the fridge or into the water line was an issue. You know, some people had uh, vacuum pumps that they got, you know, from their cars or from their tools to fix their cars. Some people use like the weed sprayer pump and put the vinegar in that and then pumped it up. I didn't have those things or at least nothing that was clean that I felt comfortable putting on my fridge. And I didn't really feel like going and buying it. I didn't want to spend the money and I was lazy and I didn't want to back up my daughter and take her to the store. So I figured I would try something out. I had I guess a bright idea for for someone in my position would be considered a bright idea and it seems to have worked so without further ado here's what I did first this will only work if you have a water line or a hose that connects to the back of your fridge that is long enough to go all the way up to the top if you can't get above your fridge with that with that water line then this is not going to work because it's using the pressure of the water from the water being higher than the dispenser to to feed the vinegar through so you'll have to disconnect your water line from your wall or in my case uh, since this is an older house we have to feed it through the floor i don't know if you can see the hole there so you have to disconnect it from its source down there bring it all the way up you're going to be losing a decent amount of water out of the water line, um, so make sure you have a bucket, bucket to catch it with. Uh, also, my water line downstairs, or where it's feeding off from, is leaking as I took it off, so I have to have a bucket underneath that right now as uh, I'm letting the vinegar sit. But So you disconnect that, and then you get your vinegar, and you get a little plunger like this that uh, you might have for giving your kids medicine. Um, I assume most houses households have it. If you do it, don't. I'm sorry. You could probably put it in the hose another way. This just worked best for me. And so you get this plunger and you put a little bit of vinegar in a place that makes it easy accessible. And once you've dumped out or as much as you can, gotten rid of all of the, the water in that line going to the back of your fridge. Then you fill up the water hose with this. You hold the hose up above the fridge and you just keep on putting plungerfuls into that hose until no more air bubbles are coming out. Now you need to have all the air bubbles out or else this kind of water pressure won't work. You need to have all that air out. And then once you have all the air out, then you quickly and without losing any of the vinegar in your line already, you quickly feed. Yeah, you can have more hot chocolate in just a second, little one. You feed that water line into your vinegar and make sure it's at the very bottom. If you can see a bottom of the bucket there, make sure it's at the very bottom so you're not gonna get any air in that line as the vinegar is feeding through. So if you've done that correctly, then you should have a little bit of pressure coming from the fact that you are feeding vinegar from a high place above the fridge. So, once that's all done, 
Your fridge still has to be plugged in, mind you, so the solenoid will work. You just continuously, oh, there we go, feed the water through until there's vinegar in there. Now, I, in order to find out if it was vinegar, I tasted it. I'm not sure if I recommend that. And the water pressure is not going to be a lot, right? Because you're just feeding it from above the fridge, but it will be enough. Uh, you may have to take out your water filter on your fridge in order to make this work because the water filter is going to be creating a little bit of a constriction there, a restriction. And that might just be enough to keep the, the vinegar from coming through. So yes, I took my water filter out. I'm going to put my water filter back in and maybe put a little bit in there, see if I can get a little bit of vinegar through there to clean that out as well, just in case, you know, the, the mildew fed back into the water filter. But, and honestly, that's about it. I'm gonna let it sit there for 30 minutes to an hour. Hopefully it'll clean it all out and then hook it back up to the water line and make sure you flush it through really well with new water so you're not getting all that vinegar in your cup. But that's all I got. I hope this helped you, helps you guys out. Um, like I said, don't, don't bother subscribing. Feel free to like if you want because that will possibly get this video up higher for people who are searching for it. But I don't, don't feel like you need to subscribe because I'm not going to be posting any more videos like this. I'm just normal dude finding a solution to a problem. Thought I'd share it. Have a good one.